I actually met uh, Miss Brenda when I was outside at the uh, Play Me Akron, when the Play Me Akron piano series around downtown Akron was, was launching off, and I went to every, every piano in the city. We just had a nice little talk. Um, I, I videoed him playing, you know, and I said, wouldn't it be neat, you know, they have a young person you know, play for a gospel concert because you always look at opportunities wherever you go. Well, she told me that she was basically, you know, she was with the symphony and everything, and I just, I just said, you know, it's always been a dream of mine to play with a symphony, and not just a symphony, just playing on that stage of E.J. Thomas. And so I did take the video, and I showed our music director, Christopher Wilkins, and he said it was a wonderful idea, and we invited him to join us. Playing with an orchestra is so different, and I think that Gospel Meets Symphony has done an amazing job uh, over the past 20 plus years of integrating two different intricate genres of music to know that there's still a love for that music, and we can now synthesize those two genres together to make a big conglomerate or melting pot of this amazing music is pretty cool. The gospel music is probably my first love. I actually play drums at my church, so that's definitely a big influence on me. I get to hear a lot of older hymns and also a lot of newer stuff. So gospel definitely is a big, big influence in my music. The theme is building blocks of excellence. And with our youth, we're just building and building and building till one day they will be the ones that we will be able to lead us. For our youth, we have to realize that we need to have an open door to give them opportunity to express their talents. We also have Emmanuel Christian School. Um, we have an ensemble of 12 young people that will be focused and highlighted on also. But we also, in the midst of all that, we will be having an artist um, that will be painting for us, Alan Berry. And it's a special piece called The Center of My Joy, where he will paint on stage. And this painting will be dedicated to Chuck Collins, who worked for the, um, the WAKR, and um, he had passed last year. But we want to do this in his honor because he had been our MC and he loved Gospel Meets Symphony as well. Gospel Meets Symphony has always been a platform for drawing community into the symphony experience and for the symphony to step into other cultural experiences throughout the city. This year we have a particular emphasis on kids and youth, uh, both young gospel musicians and also young jazz musicians. So we have a young saxophonist and a young pianist who will simply amaze. And that's part of the tradition of gospel too, is to showcase the incredible talent that comes from every corner of Akron. The youth are our future. Our, my peers and everything that we do now, it, it predicates our future. And it, it's, I, it's a great feeling to understand that the Akron Symphony Orchestra and, and the Gossam, you know, Meet Symphony group have, have realized that seeing African American males doing positive things in our community, I hope that above all that is inspiration enough. And that's even why I, I started the whole Humble and Have No Fear wristband campaign and, and doing all that to give awareness to my to my peers and youth my age that there is hope and there is a future. And they will be on sale actually at the uh, at the Akron, at the Gospel Meet Symphony along with my CD Favor, which is five dollars.